screen wash next. I'm, I'm just thinking it's going to be a blocked jet, but we'll find out in a second. So ignition on. So everything is bloody different on these soft dashes. You disco owners will be recognising certain stuff. How do I do it? No, pull it. Yeah, I'm not getting nothing out of the uh, driver's side. And barely anything out of the passenger side. So let's have a quick look-see. Now, what we're going to need to do here... <coughs> oh, rule number one. I've only got one set of keys here. Don't leave them in the car, Richard. You're tall. Now, if we get the bonnet open. There we go, bonnet's open. It's a funny looking V8. Right, here we have one screen wash. Now, I can see the holes are all well bunged up on there. Um, there's quite a lot of shit on the inside of it as well, so I think we're going to use both of these off. Give them a damn good clean up. Well, I can't blow through it, <laughs> that's for sure. Repeat action of lifting tab pulling connector down, okay, pull pipe off, and then see if we can whip this bastard up. And all I'm doing here is just pulling back. If I show you on this side, I can do it without actually telling you, yeah, without actually showing you. On this side, we've got like a plastic plate that goes around the outside of the hole. And on the outside of the car, it looks like that. And all I'm doing is moving those tabs back from the edge of the washer. Because <clears throat> they sit in that groove. With me? These, you get these from, uh, I, I use these to clean my paint guns out with, but they're small enough, they'll go into the jet holes and clean any crap out or push it into the jet and then what I'll do is I'll get the um, air compressor and blow so they're all fairly easily opened up the problem is I've pushed the crap now into the hole for now um, and I really want to get that all out of this entire housing. Otherwise, it's just gonna bung it up again and again and again. That's why you need to take these things out, really. Um, it's a lot safer than draping a <coughs> air hose across the customer's bonnet. Right, that's done those. Let's go and get some compressed air. We've got pressure in the compressor. Whoops. And all I really do is jet into the hole. blowing a world of shit out of there and oh that's quite a lot of grit that wasn't there hopefully push that back together Clip. Could he clip? Oh, de -de 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 -de. And push. And he push. <coughs> see what happens. So really, we're expecting to see now a world of shite coming out of all of those. Uh, rule number one. Don't leave customers' keys in car. Right. Right, well driver's side is definitely better. Passenger side still has one of the holes. It's just a little bit... So it's the left hole on the passenger side. <clears throat> you only have to lock yourself out of a customer's car once. Um, and you don't make that mistake. 
I'm not going to tell you which customer's car I locked myself out of. <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can guess. <laughs> right, it's entirely possible that the jet is just pointing up too high. So I can adjust that fairly easily. Um, fuck you. <clears throat> Let's don't go over here. It's just started raining again, that's nice, isn't it? So we're going into the hole. We can actually move the ball really easily. Do it with a pin. Um, I'll just move the ball around. That one was in the right sort of place. I might just jet a bit more air through there. Um, and we'll see if that works. The weather is most inclement. But at least it's not fucking freezing. I mean, look at the state of the ice in here. This ice has got to be getting on for about four inches thick, this iceberg floating in here. Um, and this is the remnants from the last week and a half of joy and pleasure I've had <coughs> working in my workshop. Oh yes. Ignition. And. Wow. That is bung straight back up again. Might be that that is just a faulty jet. We'll try just once more. And get a old poke around inside it. Otherwise, I'm just going to suggest to the customer we get another jet. Because, you know, the danger is the pair of jets is going to cost less than my time to understand what the problem is with this one is. I do this power steering box this afternoon. You see now that it's actually shooting to the top of the screen over there. So I've gone a bit fucking berserk with that, haven't I? And I've just lost me. Oh, there it is down there. Lost me stick! Probably do it with a bit of welding wire. <clears throat> Got some 0.6 welding wire, it'll do the job just as easily. So, find the ohm, bend him down just a wee bit. I might have gone a bit fucking berserk there. Let's leave the stick on there and back. It's intermittent, the left-hand one. It really doesn't, it doesn't want to do anything. It really doesn't want to fucking play the game, does it? It's a new gem. But, we've got it. So that it is three quarters good. I don't think it's, it's bummed. I think there's something actually physically wrong with it. Could just be corrosion on the inside of the jet, I guess. Think that a second. It's now shooting straight into the grill. <laughs> fucking hell, Richard. I've done me 10,000 steps just adjusting these fucking washers. At the top of the hole. Right. There we are. If you look inside there, you can see, I know it's upside down, folks, but you can see the, the jets. 
they work. That's as good as it's going to get, I think. At least it's on the screen. Right. That'll fucking do that. Okie doke. <laughs>